Um, I'm Shay, and I'm the narrator. I'm Melody. I'm Piccola. I'm Devin. I'm China. I'm Marie. I'm Sean, and I'm Holy. <laughs> The women were friendly, but Soda began talk. Piccola always took. Oh. The women were friendly, but Soda began talk. Piccola always took the initiative with Marie, who once inspired was difficult to stop. How come you got so many boyfriends, Miss Marie? Boyfriends, boyfriends, Chitlin. I ain't seen a boy since 1927. You didn't see none then. How come, Miss Marie? How come what? How come I ain't seen a boy since 19 and 27? Because there ain't been no boys since then. That's when they stopped. Folks started getting born older. You mean, that's when you got old. I ain't got old, just fat. Same thing. You think because you skinny folks think you young? Hate a girdle by, ain't you made of hate by a girl? <laughs> and you look like the north side of a southbound mule. All I know, then bandy legs of yours is every bit as old as mine. Don't worry about my bandy legs. That's the first thing they push aside. All three of the women laughed. Marie threw back her head. From deep inside, her laughter came like the sound of many rivers, freely, deeply, muddily, heading for the room of an open sea. China giggled spastically. Each gas seemed to be yanked out of her by an unseen jerking and unseen stirring. Paulin, who seldom spoke unless she was drunk, laughed without sound. When she was sober, she hummed mostly or chanted booze songs, of which she knew many. I never seen nobody with as many boyfriends as you got, Miss Marie. How come they all love you? What else they gonna do? They know I'm rich. I'm good looking, and they want to put their toes in my curls and get my money. You rich, Miss Marie? Pudding, I got money's mama. Where you get it from? You don't do no work. Yeah, where'd you get it from? Who will give it to me? I did him a favor once for the FBI. What'd you do? Well, I did him a favor. They wanted to catch this crook, you see. Name of Johnny, he was as low down as they come. We know that. The FBI and I wanted him back. He killed more people than TB. And if you crossed him, whoa, well, Jesus, he'd run you as long as there was ground. Well, I was little and cute then. No more than 90 pounds soaking all wet. You ain't never been soaking wet. Well, you ain't never been dry. Shut up. Let me tell you, sweeten, to tell the truth, I was the only one could handle him. He'd go out, rob a bank, or kill someone, and I'd say to him stuff like, Johnny, you shouldn't do that. And he'd say, he just had to bring me some pretty things, lacy drawers and all. And every Saturday, we'd get a case of beer, fry up some chicken, we'd fry it in meal and egg batter. You know, and then it would be all brown and crispy like. Not hard, though. And we break open that cold beer. Marie's eyes went soft as the memory of just such a meal sometime, somewhere, transfixed her. All her stories were subject to breaking down at descriptions of food. Piccola saw Marie's teeth settling down into the back of crisp sea bass, saw the fat fingers putting back into her mouth tiny flakes of white, hot meat that escaped from her lips. She heard the pop of the beer bottle cap smelled the acridness of the first steam of vapor, felt the cold of cold beeriness hit, hit the tongue. She ended the daydream long before Marie. But what about the money? She making like she a lady in red that told on Dillinger. Dillinger wouldn't have come near you less than he was going hunting in Africa and shoot you for a hippo. Well, this hippo had a ball bag in Chicago. Oh, Jesus, 99. 
How come you always say, whoop, Jesus, and a number? Because my mama taught me never to cuss. Did she teach you not to drop your drawers? Didn't have none. Never saw a pair of drawers till I was 15. When I left Jackson and I was doing day work in Cincinnati, my white lady gave me some old ones of hers. I thought there's some kind of stocking cap. I put them on my head when I dust. When she saw me, she liked to fell out. You must have been one dumb somebody. How'd you know? And what's the use of putting on something you gotta keep taking off all the time? Dewey never let me keep them on long enough to get use of them. Dewey who? Dewey who? Chicken, you never heard me tell you a Dewey? No, ma'am. Oh, honey, you've missed half your life. Oh, Jesus, 195, you talking about smooth. I met him when I was 14. We ran away, we lived together like married for three years, you know, all those pink tops you see running up here. 50 of them in a bowl wouldn't make a Dewey Prince ankle bone. Oh, Lord, <laughs> how that man loved me. Then why he left you to sell tail? Girl, when I found out I could sell it, that somebody would pay cold cash for it, you could have knocked me over with a feather. Me too. My auntie would me good the first time I told her I didn't get no money. I said, money? For what? He didn't owe me nothing. She said, the hell he didn't. 